Post is the one who really got her in the game. Right. Post will be dead in a year. Someone lit his ass on fire for telling. I got something for you. Real weight. Quarter million uncut. Nick's re up. Or is Nick's meat so far on your throat you can't talk to me no more? Nah, I want to know everything. But why are you blessing me with this info? I mean, you police, right? You police. I'm reporting a crime. Do your fucking job, detective. Your boy came to talk to me. Crime. He said he was looking for a way to get out from underneath all y'all's bullshit. He asked me to help him move you. Said you wasn't no good at that music shit. <laughs> but you was just getting in the way. Why are you telling me this, Rob? Raquel Thomas was Howard's CI back when she was 16, which was right around the time that she got pregnant with her son. Think that Howard and Raquel Thomas slept together when she was underage and came as dark as his kid. You need to talk to your girl, Rock, man. What's up, pal fans and YouTube? I'm Nunu, and I know you are confused about the voice. Yes, today I'm sitting in for Nino, who is under the weather. He has some bad flu, hence cannot record. But he is keen on giving you guys some breakdown on episode 7 of Raising Canaan. I will read his script for this episode, and hopefully he will be available in the subsequent episodes. We now have a history about Raquel being a CI to Howard back in the day when she was a teenager. During that period, she had an affair with Howard. Hence, Kanan was the result. Now, how did all this play out when Raquel was known to be with Def Khan? Keep in mind that Raquel wasn't in the drag game when she was with Def Khan. She was introduced to the drag game by High Post. In this video, I will be talking about how Raquel snatched her way through to be in control of the drag game from Def Khan to High Post and why she couldn't shoot Symphony and who Symphony really is. And of course, if you are new to the channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, and leave your comments below. Raquel was with Def Khan as a cover girl since Def Khan was into men, but wanted that to be a secret. With Rack in the picture, there was no way people would have suspected Def Khan to be gay. Now, during this time, she was sleeping with Howard while being a CI for him. She got pregnant with Kanan while Def Khan was sent away. Even though Def Khan wasn't responsible for the pregnancy, it was good for his reputation as a drug dealer. He got all the respect he wanted. Now, as Howard CI, Raquel snitched on Def Khan and that got him arrested. Howard was on that case. That's why he seemed to have known so much about Def Khan. So, if you notice, when he arrested Kanan and Kanan mentioned his date of birth, he quickly pulled out Def Khan's record. I believe Raquel was interested in the drug game, but Def Khan wasn't going to allow her to come near drugs. He rather kept her fly, buying dresses for her, making her look good and so forth. Now, I think when Raquel snatched on Def Khan, she thought she would have been the one running things. That probably didn't happen. She gave birth later to Kanan and moved on with High Post. High Post got her into the game. Post is the one who really got her in the game. Right and she was becoming a master of it. Now, if you remember how High Post died, he was set on fire for snitching. Post will be dead in a year. Someone lit his ass on fire for telling. Knowing who Raquel used to be now, I'm sure she was the one who snitched and gave some information to Howard and some people got arrested. Now, everything pointed at Post's direction and he was killed for telling. If you study Raquel, she isn't the type that will save a man who is in her way to power. So she snitched and High Post took the weight. It is obvious that Raquel will only keep a secret till she feels the need to use it to her advantage. Just like she did with Crown by telling Lou what Crown came to her for. She knew Lou would kill Crown. Yet, she did it. She also wants to use the studio's name to run some businesses that needs legitimate payment mode. That is why in acquiring her new home, she said she has a recording label. So if they won't take cash, she can pay through the recording label. Tell them I own a record label and a lawnmower. I'll get them everything they need. But we all know Raquel doesn't own a record label and she doesn't even know that Lou has made a terrible deal with the label already. That is not all. Raquel snitched on Unique's rehab to Howard. His products were taken. Now, it makes sense why. Howard trusted Raquel's intel. A CI is always a CI. We can now understand why Raquel is feeling agitated about Detective Berg investigating her past. She knows if that happens, 
Everyone will know she was a rat, and we all know how rats end. Now, we equally understand why Raquel trusted Howard's intel on Scrap 2. That's why she didn't hesitate to kill him. So, it's clear that Howard and Raquel, even though they don't agree when it comes to Kanan, trust each other's intel. Now, talking about hesitation, Raquel had a chance to take Symphony out, but decided not to. One will say she made an emotional decision, but that is not all. I believe Raquel didn't shoot him because that could also be wrong. She shot Scrap because she was told he was a rat, which turned out to be wrong. So she didn't want to make the same mistake by shooting the wrong person again. Trust me, if she was sure Symphony was a rat, she wouldn't have hesitated. Now, one thing in life is thinking wrong about someone who is right and thinking right about someone who is wrong. What do I mean? Raquel thought Scrap was a snitch and she killed him without thinking twice. Now she lets go of Symphony because she doubts he is a rat. She made an emotional decision. Now the person you let go could probably be your trouble instead. I find it difficult to trust that Symphony is just a cool guy with nothing under his sleeves. I won't be surprised he is a CI. I feel he was introduced to the club by a spy to get information on who is actually supplying drugs there. They used Tony to get to Marvin. They can probably be using Symphony to get to Raquel. So, if you pay attention to what Symphony said to Raquel, your secrets are safe with me. All your secrets are safe with me. I ain't got no secrets. Raquel was surprised at what he meant by her secret. I know you will be thinking about the fact that he helped her take Kanan out of town, but what he said meant a lot more than that. Symphony knows a lot more about Raquel than she thinks he knows. I can say that he is a spy and he is working with the police. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Need to talk to you, girl, Rock, man. Now, it appears that Unique knows that Raquel and Howard are somehow close, but I don't think he knows she was his CI. Now, the biggest threat to Rack is the streets finding out she was a rat. The only way that information can be hidden is either they silence Detective Burke by taking her job from her or taking her life. The speed at which she is moving with Raquel's case, she might get killed or her girlfriend here might be used as a sacrificial lamb. But I think an unethical way of working will be ideal to keep Burke out of digging into Raquel's past than killing her. I feel she has more to offer in the show. Are you wondering how Jukebox probably got into the police force? I have a feeling Nicole's father here helped Juke get the recruitment into the police department. We know he is powerful and has links to the mayor and so forth. So I am very sure Jukebox came to him for help as he promised to help her. If there is ever anything that you need, Laverne, anything at all, you know where to find me. Let me know what you think and what your theories are in the comment section. Do you think Detective Burke is getting closer to the truth or is she on a path to her grave? Now, I was wondering how many of you also thought Marvin should have let Tony go. Besides, she was enjoying her new life. Now, there's a mistake of Marvin hiring these guys to do the job for him. The mission was accomplished all right because Tony is dead. But this will blow back on Marvin if he doesn't finish the guy. Now, we still don't know if this guy here survived. But if he does, Marvin's name will surely pop out and these Spanish will not take it lightly with Marvin. So two things. It's either Marvin finishes the job and risks his life with the Spanish mafias. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you guys in the next video. It's Nuno sitting in for your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.